Hey guys, what is going on? So I wanted to talk about this product, Sigma, and give kind of my long-term review on my experience with this product as I've had it since before it even came out because I you know, work with Gorilla, so I got it early. I've been using it on and off that entire time and I take legitimate breaks when I use this product. So I'll use it for roughly a month and then I'll stop using it for about a month. And I've been doing this since it came out and I really do notice a difference when I'm on it versus when I'm off it, both good and bad. So I wanna go over you know, the pros and cons of this product. Do I recommend it? What kind of dosage and stuff? And just go over my experience in general. And I would love for anybody who's taken this product, I know it's a pretty popular product, um, or if you use any of the ingredients in this, for example, you know, the two heavy hitters that were kind of introduced with this product um, are, you know, Fidogia Agressus and Tonkat Ali. Obviously, some of the other ingredients like boron, uh, vitamin D3, you know, magnesium, all these things that you're going to need to have good testosterone production. These are all things that um, people have probably experimented with for years. But the tongue cuddly and the Fidogia aggressus, I think, are the two kind of newer ingredients uh, that people are starting to catch on to over the past couple years, ever since Andrew Huberman talked about it um, on Joe Rogan, I believe. So if you've used those products or this product, I would like your input on your experience cycling them, what your experience has been like. But this is kind of my long-term review um, after taking this because this is kind of an all-in-one product. So it's not just my experience with, you know, one of those supplements, it's all of them put together. Okay. So first thing I will mention is that I have always been of the philosophy that if you are not getting blood work when you take this product, which I have not been doing, I've never gotten blood work, so I imagine that's the vast majority of people are not regularly or ever getting their blood work done, I would not exceed two capsules. So the full dose on this is four capsules. I don't think you need that unless you are you know, really low test. And if you are really low test and you're trying to fix it, you should probably be getting blood work and trying to monitor that. But if you're just an average gym goer, I don't think you should exceed two capsules. Now, Derek made an entire video talking about, you know, potential side effects, um, toxicity with long-term exposure and high dosages. So just be very wary of that if you are gonna take these products. That's why I always recommend to not do the full dose, again, unless you are getting blood work. And in that instance, maybe you would be okay with doing that. But for me personally, I don't wanna take that risk. Um, and I'm also very conservative in terms of how I cycle this. So I only really do about four-ish weeks on, and then I take about four weeks off. So they do recommend going, I think, four weeks on, one week off. Again, I'm very conservative with this. And I also want to really experiment with it and see what is the difference between me being on this product versus off this product. And I've gone through enough cycles of this, um, trying it and then getting off it and stuff to really be able to tell what the difference is for me when I'm taking it versus when I'm not. So when I first got this product, I was a little bit, you know, not sure um, because I had taken it for about a month. I didn't really notice anything, although I did end up hitting some PRs um, by the end of my month on this product. But there was other things going on. I ended up getting COVID and stuff like that. So it was very hard for me to draw conclusions from that product, um, you know, because there were so many variables going on. I then ended up going on a cut, which again, kind of threw some variables out of whack. But now that I've been bulking for several months at this point, and I have been continuing to do the one month on, one month off cycle, I feel like I have a good understanding of what I you know, feel like when I'm on it versus when I'm off it. So I will start with side effects. Um, I've only had one and obviously I'm not getting blood work done. So we can't rule out that other things aren't going on behind the scenes, both good and bad. But in terms of just what I have noticed when I'm on this product from a negative perspective, it's just one thing and that is acne. So I would imagine this would be much more severe for people who are prone to acne in adulthood or, you know, if you're younger and you're taking this, I probably wouldn't be doing it, you know, if you're a teenager or anything like that anyway. Um, but if you're more prone to acne, I would imagine this would be um, a more kind of common side effect. But for me, I noticed consistently that I went from having virtually no acne because that's just how I am as an adult to having acne for, you know, the short duration that I'd be on this product. Um, I would notice, you know, some acne flare ups and I get off the product and I notice they go away. So I've noticed this enough times to be pretty confident that it is this product. Um, and it's not a deal breaker for me because again, I'm not somebody who's prone to acne, at least not in adulthood. So for me, it's just a little bit of extra acne. Usually it's on like my back, 
and then maybe my shoulders. It's not really on my face or anything like that. So I don't really care, um, but it is something that I've noticed. And considering this is a product that deals with your hormones, uh, you know, your free testosterone, total testosterone, stuff like that. Something to keep in mind, if you are acne prone, and especially if you're taking a higher dose, probably something that you are going to want to be at least aware of, but you may want to not take the product at all. Now, it depends on pros and cons, what, what you think you know, you're going to get out of it and stuff like that. But for me, it was a very minor side effect, but something that I did notice consistently. And I feel like considering it is a hormonal product, it's pretty safe to say that that is the reason why. Or it could just be a sequence of many coincidences all in a row, but I highly doubt that. So that was my negative experience with this. Otherwise, I have not noticed any negative things outside of that. Again, I do take a conservative dose at two capsules a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. But outside of that, I've never gone above that. And I do take my cycling pretty serious in terms of, you know, not being on it for long periods of time. That being said, I think a lot of people are less conservative with that and they don't have issues. But considering I'm not getting blood work, I don't want to take that risk. Now, in terms of the positive experiences that I've had with this product, I like I said, when I first took this product, I didn't notice anything. It was very, um, you know, something that I just didn't have any way of, you know, noticing if I was on it or off it. And, um, you know, the only thing that I noticed is that I did end up hitting PRs after a month of taking this, but I was bulking and everything like that. So um, I didn't really think that much of it. Now, as I've taken this product throughout this bulk and I've taken it from the beginning, you know, cycling it uh, on and off throughout that process, I've noticed that it seems as if my progress is much better or at least just a higher rate of progress when I am taking this product. And I feel like my overall energy levels and desire to get after it in the gym is just slightly boosted. It's nothing dramatic. It's something that, again, if I was just taking this product and I, you know, wasn't thinking about the placebo effect and I wasn't trying to determine, hey, am I on it? Hey, am I off it? You know, I really don't think that is that noticeable of an effect on my day-to-day -day life. And in fact, the first time I took this product, the first month, I didn't even notice anything being on it. And I figured, hey, I don't really think that this works too much. So I, I really had very low confidence in what this was actually doing for my body the first few cycles that I had of this. But I noticed as I got back into a calorie surplus and as I started to expect less, like I feel like I went in expecting that I would have a difference and then I noticed, hey, I'm not really noticing much of a difference. And I felt like, oh, it's probably just either doing something in the background and I'm not really noticing or whatever. But when I kind of accepted the reality that I thought at the time was true, that this product didn't really do anything for me, at least nothing noticeable. And I just kind of let it work in the background because I figured, hey, you know, this product is still probably going to have an effect on my free testosterone, total testosterone, whether I notice a difference in my day to day life or not, or, you know, in my training or anything like that. I really noticed this trend that when I'm on it versus when I'm off it, things were just slightly better in terms of training, in terms of energy, intensity in the gym, very subtle differences. But when you stack that and you have those continuous good workouts for a month on end, you can stack up a lot of progress. So if you go into the gym with, let's say 5% less intensity, um, you know, that's going to really not produce the same results as if you were to go into the gym every day with just a little bit more intensity, a little bit more drive. Okay. So this is one reason why I think having something like caffeine or a pre-workout or, you know, even a placebo, whatever you want to take before the gym to really get you fired up, that can really have a profound effect, even if that product is not directly making you build more muscle, having that mental thing in the back of your mind, I think is really beneficial. So I'm not claiming that I was taking this product and I got a mental boost. I think it was genuinely because it was slightly increasing my testosterone, my free testosterone. And I think that had effects that I didn't really notice until they started to accumulate over the course of like a month or so. So I really ended up noticing every time I would take this product, like I said, virtually no difference when I started taking it. But after I'd been taking it for a few weeks, I would notice, hey, wow, this month went really well. I had much faster progress this month than I did last month. And so if I'm going from a boosted state one month and then I'm cycling off it for one month and I notice, hey, my progress this month has been less than stellar. Well, that started to happen to me multiple times to the point where I, f I felt like it ha was having an effect. So um, I just got off of a month of taking this and it was a bad month for me. Was, I don't think I really made all that much progress. My motivation wasn't really there. Um, and I don't think that I'm going from like 
having great testosterone to having terrible testosterone. But I do think that those little differences, especially like I said, stacked up over the course of a month can have a pretty big difference in your cumulative results over the course of that month. Especially if you're focusing on progressive overload, you can really look at your numbers in the gym and be like, Hey, I can see how this weight um, you know, it's moving a lot faster than it was at the beginning of the month. Or if I'm using 10 pounds more, you know, four weeks later, I'm like, Hey, this 10 pounds feels like, you know, what it was before, you know, when, when it was 10 pounds less. So I feel like it's something that, you know, I really was not convinced that it was doing anything for a very long time. I was taking it again, just because I knew that those products had effects on other people. I had had a lot of messages from other people telling me um, their experience with this product or just Fidogia agrestis or Tunkata Lee by themselves. So I, I knew that those products did something in the background. So I always knew that, but I don't think I really noticed the effects until I was objectively taking like my month block on versus my block off and really noticing like, hey, these are actually pretty drastic differences when you allow the time to go by and allow the effects to accumulate. So, um, I'm making this video because I'm just finishing this bottle and I'm just getting back on this. I think this is like my th second or third day back on this. And I feel like I'm already getting some type of at least a mental benefit um, as I've started taking this. Now that's could just be entirely placebo and it probably is. But like I said, I don't really seem to notice the difference in the gym until I look at the, the accumulated results I've had over the course of the month when I've been taking this. Um, so I guess my conclusion with this is even if it doesn't feel like it's doing anything initially, even if you don't get that like immediate um, feeling, and I think that's more often than not associated with placebo effect than it actually working, it doesn't mean that it's not working in the background. And I would say that I'm much more sold on it now than I was, you know, during my first month or two taking this. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to have this in my arsenal and uh, I, I need to get another bottle. So for me, this product literally lasted the way that I only used two capsules and the way that I cycle around one month on, one month off, it literally has lasted me since the time that it launched until now, and I still have some left. So as far as bang for your buck goes, and especially with convenience, everything is just in one or two capsules. You can just take them one capsule at a time. You'll be totally fine. Now, is it possible that you can get the Fidoji Aggressus Tonka Ali and get them cheaper um, if you were to like make your own? I'm sure it's possible, but this is a pretty cheap product considering this will last you like the better portion of a year if you use it the way that I do. And uh, I'm really a fan of it. And I would like to get some blood work in the future and kind of see what happens. Uh, it's not really a priority for me right now, but it is something that I do intend to do in the future at some point. And I'd really like to see where, um, not necessarily where my testosterone levels are, but just how this really changes that. Because I don't feel like I have low testosterone when I'm not on this. I don't think it's an issue for me. But it'd be very interesting to see, you know, how is my free testosterone changing when I'm on this? And hey, that might be a future video for me. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.